Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. This is my street photography vlog about Nijitsu. When I first heard about the abandoned houses of Nijitsu mining village, I immediately listed it on my to-go places in Japan. It is not one of those places that most foreign people would like to visit because Nijitsu is unheard of, but maybe not in the case for those who are actually into Haikyo or a Japanese term for abundance or ruins. Nichitsu Kozan is situated in Chichibu City, Saitama Prefecture. Gold, silver, iron, zinc, lead, manganese, and silicate sand were reportedly mined here. So without much planning and expectation, I went for a drive to this abandoned village. At the end of the video, I will let you know if I recommend you to visit this place or not. So stick around. Nichitsu is a 4 to 5 hour drive from the main cities of Tokyo or Yokohama depending on your driving speed and sense of direction but once you reach at the Mitsu Mineguchi station it will take you about 45 minutes to reach the mining company which is by the way still operational to this day So a little background about Nichitsu. Nichitsu Mining Village was first established by the Takeda family, a samurai from the late Heian period, year 794 to 1185, and it was discovered to be rich in gold deposits. In 1910, Yanasi Corporation bought the mine from Takeda family and the operation to extract iron ore took place. It was then bought by Nichitsu in 1937 and the operation expanded into mining other minerals such as zinc and magnetite. It was then in 1950 that the Nichitsu Mining Corporation was established. It was the golden years of Nichitsu where, where about 2,000 people who worked there formed a community had built their houses around it. So the community was fully functional including school, doctor, dentist, fire department and a post office. In 1978, metal mining was cancelled and the people eventually moved out of their houses and left it abandoned. As to this day, the plant is still operational and extracting only limestone and quartz sand. When I visited, I found a group of people who actually searched for quartz stones and showed me and it was beautiful. The video is not going to be shown here and where to acquire those stones for discretion purposes.
so back to the question of whether I recommend you to visit this one I would say yes but what I am frustrated about is that the fact that the property is still privately owned many remnants are strictly prohibited from entering so the property is managed and an authorized intrusion distraction damage taking out goods etc are legally prohibited so if you go enter one of these houses go at your own discretion but if you get caught then i think you, you know what's going to happen in addition many facilities have been under pressure due to heavy rainfall or snowfall in 2014 and you know entering this house would could put you into a real danger so that's it thank you for thank you for sticking around with me and maybe see you on the next vlog be safe and peace out